What's good, folks? Welcome back to episode 4 of my Late and Orient Rags to Riches series. Now, first of all, apologies it's taken so long to get this episode out. I'm rubbish at YouTube, blah de blah de blah, I get it. But it's here, and we're playing against Dunstable in the first game. A game which I'd expect to win quite easily. But I'm going to change the format as well of this series, where um, the games that I expect to win, I'm going to compress down to just highlights, and the games that I expect to be closer, I'm going to be putting the full games up. So that's just to speed the process up, really, get us to the Premier League as soon as possible. Um, if you're not already as well, head over to twitch.tv forward slash sidegames56. Bang me a follow on there, I'd appreciate it. I stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 8.30pm GMT. And I play a variety of games as well as I'm thinking about doing a football manager one. But anyway, head over, bang a like. Now let's get into the first game and whoop some backside. So no major changes really to the lineup. Few changes just to cover injuries and keep the guys fresh. Uh, this is a game I'd like to win. I'd like to get as far as we can in the tournament, really, just purely for the money, because I know we're not going to win it, obviously, but this club is like brassic right now. We need money, definitely, because we're going to get promoted, obviously, so we're going to need as much money as possible. Four minutes in, we've got a throw in, far side, Widowson to Kite. Back to Widdison, crosses it in, and Bocco, back post, rises like a salmon. A Bosch, 1-0. Come on, the boys. I'd like to see us get an absolutely destructive game here. Loads of goals, just to keep the guys positive. Boom. Go on, son. Right, so it's not quite as destructive as what I expected, but we are winning and we're controlling the game. Really, uh, Dunstable haven't had any decent opportunities, so I'm happy. The boys are controlling it well. I want to keep them positive. Don't want to uh, get him too overconfident. Mooney, on the other hand, needs a tiny little kick up the backside just to let him know that he needs to start stepping his game up. So let's go out, try and finish this game off. Right, throw in on the near side. Widowson plays into Dolby. Dolby to Bonnie. Karoma through. Oh, near post beauty. Tell you, that was some good football. In our own half. Opposition didn't get near to it. It's nothing less than I'd expect. But we're playing some decent football here. I'd like us to keep control of this. Nothing silly. Keep a clean sheet and I'll be happy. Dunstable here playing some cheeky little triangle football. But Colson's got it. Oh, and there's the full-time whistle. Go away. 2-0 winners. Pretty dominant there, 17 shots, 10 on target. I would have liked to have seen more goals with that sort of ratio, but I'm happy we got a win, we got the clean sheet, we go on to the next round. So, good job boys, and everyone's delighted. So it turns out I'm a right clown and forgot to press record, but we join the game against Macclesfield, five minutes in. Caprice, near side to Kite, Clay, Bonnet, oh, ricochets galore, and it goes wide. So it turns out I didn't even need to record the whole of the first half because it's been boring. We've had eight shots, two on target. They've had three with one and it's just... They've, every shot's been just trash. So there's not really any highlights to show you guys. My apologies. Hopefully they will pull the finger out and the second half will be better. We've been on the attack. Macclesfield, clear it downfield. Ella Kobe with the laziest run back to collect the ball. Plays it out to Caprice. Caprice down the line to Bocco. Bocco's running it right to the byline. Nearly went out. Yes, it's a penalty. Bonnet was officially elbowed in the back of the head. Uh, should be a red card ref. What's he going to do? Ah, uh, it's just a yellow. Bonnet smashes it right at the keeper into the roof of the net. Eighth goal of the season. We move up to sixth place. Go on, Bonnet. Oh, unlucky keeper. So we've had a couple of corners here that have so far come to nothing. But we're at risk of getting caught on the counter-attack. And Macclesfield are away here. Durrell 
plays it in towards Arthur. Oh, no, no. Oh, what a save by O'Brien. I'm getting a bit nervous, if I'm honest, because we could do with the three points. One's no good. Darrell Brown. Oh, O'Brien, great save. Right, we've got to change this up. Got to go defensive. Last thing I want is I'm scoring a last-minute goal. Turn that tempo right down. We're already deep. I've changed some of these already because we were getting a bit more pressure from Macclesfield. So, um, yeah, let's... I just want to try and make sure that we don't concede this last minute. No, not hit early crosses. Stick to positions. Play defensive. Waste as much time as possible. And hopefully we can hang on for that win. Two minutes left. No, please don't be a goal for them. Dayton runs down the wing. Can we get... Oh, that, that'll do. Play it in the corner. Just play it in the corner. Play it safe. Last 45 seconds. Let's hold on. Don't play it out wide. Go on. Oh, it's Colson. Centre-back's not going to be banging in the shot from there, is he? Surely that's it. Surely that's it. Come on. Just hold it up. Yes, there's the full-time whistle. 1-0 win. 15 shots, but only four on target. It's just not good enough. But what I am happy about is I brought Bonnet in this game. Up front, because Mooney wasn't really doing it for me last game. Um, but Bonnet's come in, played all right, scored a penalty. I do think a lot of the shots that are wide are probably his. But there we are, sat in third. You know, so we're doing all right. So we've got Gateshead this game. Not really any changes. I've brought Dayton in for Karoma on the left side, just to give Karoma a bit of a break. Uh, Gateshead sit 13th and we are third at the minute. So we could do we winning this just to keep ourselves up there because we're sharing third with fourth and fifth. And we're about four points off second and first who sit on 33 points. So hopefully we can get a result today and put some pressure on the top two. Right, first highlight, five minutes in to Gateshead. Plays it out to York. York cross it in. Ella Colby clears it. Back to Gateshead. O'Donnell. Oh, no. We did not want to go 1-0 down. At home as well. That was a really bad clearance by us. Ella Colby did all right getting that header. But whoever it was in the box then, number 18, is it? Who is that? Oh, he should have cleared that. Damn. So we're just about to come up to half time. Uh, we've not done too bad. We've we've hit the post once. Um, Dayton's suffering from an injury, so we'll have to come off at half time. But we've had a fair few chances. But they're sitting very deep, our gates head. So it's very, very difficult for us to break them down. We might need to... Uh, I'll bring on Karoma for Dayton. Hopefully we can come back from it in this second half, but we might need to let them come on to us a little bit more, um, not be so aggressive so that we can catch them on the counter-attack because um, they just sat very deep, very compact, and it's just hard to break them down. Um, what is wrong with these lot? Soft as anything, stop crying. Get out there and start getting a result. Meh, I'm a little bit under pressure. Get out there and sort it out. 83rd minute in, and as you can see, we're still 1-0 down. I'm a little bit depressed because we've conceded another for one. But we have, we've been all over Gateshead really, but we've just not been able to put the ball in the back of the net. We're going to have to go all out now. I can't see us coming back from this. That's pretty much the nail in the coffin as far as I'm concerned. We've just hit too many shots off target again. I need to really start having a look at these tactics because um, either the strikers are just jog or it's something to do with the tactics and people shooting from range too much. But 
Oh, I can't. Oh, how? As a defender, how can you not judge this ball? The ball comes in. Why is he stopped? Carry on going. Put the player under pressure. Goalkeeper doesn't even drop to try and stop the shot from going in. But anyway, 2 0 down. Boo hoo. Right, so I'm hoping this is the referee going to blow the full time whistle because this game has been, yeah, pretty much that and more of that. We've had lots of opportunities, but we've either hit it straight at somebody or we've put it wide. And I don't know whether it's because our players lack the creativity to make the chances or whether it's because Gateshead have sat so deep. I mean, we've had plenty of possession and a fair few amount of shots. Let's have a look. So yeah, we're on 60%, they're on 40. We've had 16 to their 7, 4 each on target. That's the, their ratio is fit more than 50% on target, whereas ours is sat around 25. So it's something I need to have a look at in the tactics screen. Um, Colson's going to get disciplined for that game, definitely. And that drops us to what, fifth now, which isn't ideal. But I'll have a look at the tactics ready for next game and try and sort this out. Next game, next game, and we've got Wrexham away from home, who currently sit in ninth and we're fifth. Um, I am expecting a much better display today from the team. Um, the only change I've made is Karoma has come in on the left wing because Dayton is injured. So I had a look at the tactics, and I've got to say that I'm just putting it down to the fact that Gateshead was sat very deep. I'm not making drastic changes. Uh, I do want to try and keep some consistency with the lineup. Um, and hopefully it was just one of them games. Um, uh, but if it continues, then I'm going to have to make changes. Right, so we're just 45 seconds in here and Leighton Orient have got an attack. Kite picks up the loose ball, plays it through to Bocco. Bocco. Taking his time, but he crossed it back post. Mooney! Get in there, boys. That's the sort of response I wanted from them. Nice early goal. One minute in. Some great football. Through ball. Bocco making sure he stayed on side. Whips the ball in behind the defenders. Mooney peeling off like a banana skin off a banana. Go on, lad. Right, so we've got a corner here. 15 minute. Clay rising up against... How many players were around him then? Three? I was just trying to put... Encourage or concentrate. I can't even remember. Oh, like three defenders around him. Great corner. Front post. 2-0. Caprice now taking a cutter. Throwing out on the far side. Kai playing it back to Caprice. Caprice. Low cross in to Clay. To Karoma. Oh, we're just running away with this now. 3-0, 22 minutes. This is what I'm talking about. I'm so glad that I didn't change the, the tactics, start messing it up. It, they just needed a kick up the backside, I think. Nice low pass in, Clay. Karoma taking it back across the defenders to make some space. Beautiful. So here we are, half time. Seven shots, five on target. Three goals, very happy with that. Let's keep it up, try and keep a clean sheet in this second half, and I will be ecstatic come the end of this game. Right, Wrexham here. Still 3-0 down, but on the attack with Bowden. Bowden plays it out wide to Carrington. Carrington, what's he going to do with it? He crosses it in, Colson with a poor looping header to the edge of the box. In the box to right, who puts it in the bottom corner? How is this happening? We have been dominating this game. We do not want them to be on a comeback now. This header here, that are so looping right to their player on the edge of the box. He could have put that anywhere. Poor header as far as I'm concerned. But, 3-1. Right. Looks like it's the end of the game. Yep, there's the full-time whistle. Thankfully, Wrexham didn't manage to muster up anything else other than that goal in the second half. And to be honest, there really weren't that many highlights after that. But um, I'm happy. We got a nice early lead, kept it, kept hold of it. Um, where does that put us in the league now? Still in fifth. Not doing bad. Um, just got to keep the form up. Right, 
so I think we'll call this one the last game of the episode because I'm going to let this one play out because it's a big game for us. FA Cup, first round, Chesterfield, who are a League 2 team against lowly old Leighton Orient down in the Vanarama National League. Um, we have got a couple of extra subs with it being a cup. So I'll bring on, um, bring on Bonnet up front for Mooney. I think Mooney will be too static in that striker position, too easy to mark for the defenders, whereas Bonnet's got that little bit of extra pace. Bring on Mackinoff, an extra option there for out on the wings. Um, no, I'll leave Dayton off because Chrome has done all right. He's got some pace on him and he's got some goals in him as well. Um, I'll bring Mooney on for Kite though because he can play a fairly decent role behind the striker. He's got the experience, whereas Kite's fairly young and inexperienced. Um, so yeah, I think we're good with that one. We'll leave that as it is. Like I say, I'll play this whole game out because it is big for us. I mean, we could do with going as far as we can in the FA Cup. Even if we get a draw, get more money back at our ground, um, it's better than nothing. But we are massive underdogs here. So, uh, yeah, nobody expects us to get a, a result. So go out there without any pressure, please. Oh, right. Uh, yes, we have left Dayton out. But he's just being rested. Nothing more than that. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, the opponent's coming to this without good form, do they? Uh, no, we'll go into it and just do a professional job. We're not idiots. So we kick this one off. I'll put this on standard. And then make our decision as the game goes on whether we need to change it. But I'm a bit conscious that we might get troused here and Kellett's got the ball for Chesterfield plays a long ball right over the top for Dennis oh oh my days he's hit the post and then put it wide from an open goal no wonder you've been on a bad run of form with that come on boys Karoma on a free kick plays it to the edge to Mooney oh my god what a God, yes, get in. Clay with a poacher's goal. Tap. Oh, for God's sake, it's been disallowed. We've got another free kick, though. Karoma plays it in. Colson back post. Caprice down the left-hand side to Mooney. Ah, oh, ref. Looks a bit dirty, that challenge, if you ask me. A bit aggressive. Chesterfield. Playing another lot. Oh, it's all right. It's gone straight to the keeper. <coughs> Big long kick from O'Brien. Clay to Lawless. Out to up to Bonnet. Bonnet going down to the byline for the cross. Plays it into Bocco. Oh, front post. Keeper saves it. I'm surprised the keeper's not caught that. Karoma with the corner. Crosses it in, front post. Ah, oh, Chesterfield. Easy job for them. We're not doing too bad, though. Ten minutes in. We're holding our own here, if not having better opportunities than them. They've had one more shot than us, but they haven't had one shot on target yet. Everett gets a yellow card for Chesterfield in centre defence. Karoma with another corner for Leighton Orient. Crosses it in. Easy work for Chesterfield. Nobody was there. Bocco skies it. Wakefield for Chesterfield on the corner. Puts it from post to Flores. O'Brien with an easy save. Keller throws it into Dennis. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. It's tackled by Clay anyway. Mooney back to Clay. Clay with the ball out to Bocco on the wing. Leighton Orient pushing forward here. Caprice picks it up for Leighton Orient on the right hand side. Plays it into Clay. Clay to Mooney. Oh no, to Bonnet. Bonnet back to Mooney. Mooney with a first time pass to Bocco who puts it wide. Six shots, one on target. Come on, boys. Chesterfield now in possession. Dennis out on the left hand side. Tackle by Caprice. 
Caprice with a massive kick up field. Bonnet through the middle. Go on, son. Get in. 1 0. Bonnet destroys that defender for pace. Absolutely leaves him standing. That's why I was playing him up top on his own. Clay, great play through the middle. Clay with a great play. D -d Bonnet, beautiful son. This is a great start. Come on. Let's get another one. So that's one goal and one disallowed. We're doing all right, boys. Heard for Chesterfield. Plays it to Kellett. Flores out to the left winger. Left midfielder. Najida Lolly. He's a lolly. Out to Wakefield. Wakefield. Running down the right side, crosses it in, but there's nobody there for Chesterfield. Clay, nice and calm. That's it, boys. Just slow pace down. We don't need to speed things up. Karoma into Mooney. Mooney back to Widowson. Keeping all the possession. Nice and easy. Bonnet. Go on, he's through on the left. Oh, he's through in the middle as well. Oh, Bonnet. Missed a great opportunity there. Mooney. To Bonnet. Bonnet. Oh, what a strike. Edge of the box. This guy is absolutely on fire right now. What a goal. I didn't even think he had that in his locker. I think he's got like 10 for shooting. 11 or something stupid like that. Great finish. Keeper had no chance. Bottom right hand corner. Leighton Orient 2. Chesterfield 0. Away from home as well. This is brilliant. Chestfield, free kick on the edge of the box. Crosses in. Oh, they've pulled one back. 33 minutes in. Sam Hurd. With a looping header, top right hand corner. Oh, he was pretty much unmarked. Oh, please don't let this slip. O'Brien, goal kick for Leighton Orient. Plays it out to Widowson. Widowson, down the line to Karoma. Up to Bonnet. Bonnet. Tackled by Chesterfield. Defender. Oh, but it's gone through to O'Grady for Chesterfield. Oh, garbage. What a dump shot that was. I'm glad. 40 minutes in. Leighton Orient with a corner. Bocco crosses it on the edge of the box to Mooney. Mooney into Karoma. Karoma. <gasps> Surely the... I, th <sighs> I thought the keeper had saved that. But <sighs> this is great. For me, obviously. This camera angle's dump. What is wrong with this? I thought the Karoma here shoots. I thought the keeper had saved it. And then bish bosh bash. It's in the bottom corner, Sam. Come on. 3 1. Who'd have expected? This is awesome. Come on, boys. Keep it up. 10 shots, 4 on target. We are absolutely dominating them right now. <sighs> I'm nervous. Surely we can't throw this away. And it's half time, is it not? Look at our possession. 56% to 44. Bonnet dominating the business out there. 3-1 up. Away from home. I mean, you can't say anything. Uh, you see, this is where, do you say, don't let your performance level drop? Or do you want to say, I'm very happy, keep it up? Uh, yeah. See, Bonnet's all confused now. But you, you've got to be sensible. Right. You need to, where is it? I wanted to take the direct passing down, play some more short passing. Ella Kobe was kicking it away a few times there. Right, on to the second half. If we can get an early goal here, this might just put the game to bed. Lawless. Mooney plays it to Bocco. Bocco to Lawless. Lawless to the edge to Clay. Gets tackled easy. That was a terrible touch. 
O'Grady with a long ball up to Dennis. Ah, there we go. That's all good. I'm happy with that. You know, I'll be happy just looking at that screen with the stats for the rest of the game. As long as we keep this score line up. What a ball from Caprice to Bonnet. Is he going to... Oh, I was going to say he's going to score his hat-trick here. Whew. Widowson would have thro uh, thrown in on the left-hand side. Reed with a dirty little challenge, if you ask me. And Lacobie. See, see, this is why I wanted to reduce the... Oh, my God. I retract that statement. Keep doing them long balls, Ella Colby. Bonnet with his hat trick. 4-1 up. Oh, there's no way I would have expected this. This is brilliant. Lawless. Oh, no, it wasn't Lawless. Mooney with the header straight through to Bonnet on his own. Easy tapping. Left two defenders stood holding hands. <coughs> Out of the five shots on target, we've scored four goals, which is absolutely awesome. Oh, Chesterfield making a sub. Striker for striker. I think. I missed that second striker. I think it was a striker anyway. Widowson gets tackled by Wiseman. Plays a long ball. They love the long ball, this team. Ella Kobe got it under control. Nice and easy back to O'Brien. Lawless. Up to Bonnet. Bonnet back to Clay. Clay out to Caroma. Caroma with a through ball to Bonnet. Shoots. Oh, good save by the goalkeeper. Gets a corner for the Orient. <coughs> Bocco. Crosses it to the edge of the box. Mooney. With a terrible shot. Way, way wide. Apologies if you hear any vehicles going past my window, but it is absolutely scorching right now. So I've got to have the window open, keep that fresh air. Reed on a yellow card as well for Chesterfield. They're getting frustrated. Hating life right now. I think we may be able to get a couple of subs on. Without worrying too much, we've got a decent lead. Look at these ratings. I can't really make too many subs. They're playing out of the skin right now. Let's try and keep the uh, fresh legs on, though. Look at Bonnet. He's just, like, running for everything. Please do this every game. Easy save for the goalkeeper there. Come on, boys. 13 more minutes. Chesterfield, Caprice putting the end to their attack. And Bonnet through again. Go on, son. Go on. Ah, oh, It's like a carbon copy of the last time Caprice played that ball up to him. Oh, let's get Dayton on. He's a good player, Dayton. A couple of inside forwards now on, on the wing rather than just one. <laughs> Bonnet's just like loving it right now. He's shooting from anywhere. He don't give no she she she. Mm. <laughs> Clay's had some bad touches this game, man. Chesterfield making another sub full back for another full back. Orient with a free kick. Dayton hits it against the wall for a corner. Bocco's gonna take this. Come on, son. Oh no, Karoma. Karoma plays the edge of the box to Mooney. Mooney to Ochiang. Ochiang. Bonnet with another shot. I've taken Bocco off, haven't I, for Dayton? Chesterfield now on the counter attack after Orient's corner. Kellett crosses it in, but Sendles White there to clear it out. Bonnet, just hold it up, mate. Hold it up. Nothing crazy. No, he's, he's all out for the attack this game. Oh, it's in the bag now, boys. Surely. 89th minute. Dayton plays it to the edge. Colson ricochets all over the gaff. Caprice throwing it into Mooney. Mooney out to the edge of the box to Clay. Nowhere to go, really. Chesterfield come away with the ball. They're just they're panicking. 
Caprice. Nice and easy, son. That's it. Go back to the keeper if you have to. No problems. So calm and collected right now. Karoma. Wicked crossfield ball. Straight to the opposition. That's it. You just enjoy that. You've not really had a touch of the ball this game, O'Brien, have you? Nothing. No, 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 no. No. We didn't need that. 4-1 is a great result. 4-2. It's just good result now, boys. I'm going to blame that on Sendles White. He doesn't really play that many games. He's not that good. So, sorry Sendles White if you ever, ever watch this. But, on this game, you ain't all that. Oh my days, that was a decent effort. I think that was going in the bottom corner until it hit one of our players. Oh, he's offside. There we go. 4-2. 21 shots. 7 on target. I think that was uh, Bonnet getting all excited, shooting from everywhere. Great result. Buzzing. Hat-trick hero. Getting the achievement for me. You done, da 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 no. Yes, we are in the hat for the next round. Uh, I'm not going to discuss it because I don't want to upset the players and say we can't go very far or say we can go really far. Um, we'll just keep it nice and level, neutral, this uh, this press conference. Yeah, fabulous strike. Well worth the entry fee alone. He was terrific. Uh, in fact, I expect more of the same from him. Don't want him to get ahead of himself. Right, guys, I think we'll call the episode there. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Social links are in the description if you want to go over there and follow and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. Uh -huh.